Hey, Wes Buck here with the man, the myth, the legend. I've been saying that a lot, but it's true at this this time. At this time, I mean it. Tommy Kundrick from Mickey Thompson Tires. Um, oh my gosh, man. It's been, what a weekend. Oh, it's been an unbelievable weekend here. Uh, you know, Donald has uh, just amazed me again here. You know, this market here is amazing to me just because Mickey Thompson is so well received here. Absolutely. You know, everybody shows love for us. Um, and we hope we show it back. You know, I think so. You know, we introduced the new 315 Pro here. Right. And uh, sold out in two days. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, just keep moving. You know, we want to just keep evolving. And, you know, this is what we do. It's what we love. Because that's what we've seen is we've talked about a little bit with Keith Barry and some of these other guys. The, the evolution that has taken place here at the higher levels of drag. Well, all levels of drag radio, but especially at the higher levels. Pretty unbelievable. It's, you know, it started back. 12 years ago when we made our drag radio, 13 years ago when we made our radial, and we've now just replaced it with these new products. And the cars are evolving, the tires are evolving, the race tracks are evolving. I mean, people coming in, I mean, Keith Haney, you know, yeah, comes in, crazy. brand new combination, never raced on radials. Now we did hire some really, really good help. Right. So he's not a dummy. Right. And I got to give him credit, you know, Brandon Schweitzer, all the guys over there, Brandon Pez, killer. They did an amazing job. Stevie Jackson, Phil Schuler. I mean, this thing, you know, it, it, it's like the top of grassroots racing. You will never find anything like this anywhere else. I think that's very well said. It's like pro-level grassroots racing. I mean, it's it's because you come down here and you can, I mean, it's still pretty impressive for, what, 5 o'clock on a Sunday in the South. Um, but this is like a national event of outlaw racing. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't get this anywhere else, I don't think. You, you, you got to come to the South. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's been tried a bunch of places. I mean, the Cecil County does really well with Yellow Bullet. Uh, Maryland does really good with World Cup. But, you know, Shakedown was a huge, oh, yeah. huge thing. Still really good thing, Dale, at Norwalk. Still growing. But this this is the mecca. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I don't. I mean, I hope we do again. Um, but it's pretty crazy. I was going to beat you up. Tommy pays. It's amazing how close of attention he pays to every one of his customers' cars. I mean, he's out here watching everybody, helping everybody. Anybody that asks, he's here to help. And the one thing is, like, is there one, we were talking like, is there a particular run or two that you think, I mean, obviously everybody saw the 87 and there's been some big runs, but is there anything that really stood out to you as an impressive run? You know, uh, a lot of these guys, all these guys impressed me. You know, I've gotten the pleasure to race with some of them before and done very well. Uh, but, you know, Mark Mickey, Jason Carter coming out here, didn't have an engine yeah. in the car. Switch over to it. fuel tank, yeah. you know, and they rewire the thing, come out here and go a couple rounds. And then win three for the first time. First time. You know, you know uh, Jason Mahalik's car going to 87, you know. I love records. Yeah. You know, the faster our tire goes, it's just more impressive. Uh, you know, you get the fastest nitrous car run ever here in Valdosta. Yeah. Uh, God, it's, it, it just could, you could keep going this list. Stevie Jackson goes out here, pedals the thing. Three times goes four on one. It's unbelievable. Uh, and man, can he pedal that thing? Listen, that that kid. I'm gonna call him a kid because I've known him forever. He came out. My one of my favorite stories about him. We raced horsemen years ago. I used to do those events by myself. I'd go in there, change all the tires, mess somebody. Blew his motor up. Left it like ten at night. Went home, took his pro charger motor out, put his nitrous motor back in. Comes back and wins the whole thing. I walked over and I'm like, dude, I gotta help you out. He's been, he's been on our sponsor list ever since then, and uh, on Team MT, and it's a pleasure to have him there. That's, well, we'll end on that. We, we're not gonna do any better than that. So, hey, thanks, Tommy, for all you and Mickey Thompson do for Drag Illustrated, a uh, longtime supporter of ours, and we certainly appreciate it. So, Anytime you have the best magazine on the planet, my friend. Thank you very much. See ya. See ya.